This is a quick review of what we've been doing in class. We've been making a an ATM account, and, uh, and it needs to keep track of how much we have in our checkings account, and how much we have in our savings account, and uh, and basically it lets us withdraw and deposit money. So let's start by creating a deposit function. Of course, we could just add money to the savings or checking account with just simple math, but we want to be able to do a few other things. So we're going to write our own function called deposit. And um, we want to take two variables, the amount we want to deposit and the account we want to deposit it in. We're going to use the global balance checking balance savings variables in this. So we're going to have to do this so that we can use them. Then we are going to say if the account the person enters is equal to C, that is our checking account, then we're going to add the amount <coughs> to our checking account. Else, L if the account that we are depositing it into is our savings account, Oops. don't forget the colons, then we will add it to our savings variable. All right, and so that is our deposit function. Oh, we also want to print out the amount that's in our checkings account or the amount that's in our savings account. Let's test it now. So let's say um, deposit a thousand into our checking account. Run. Oh. Don't forget colons. When you're defining a function, you have the colon, just like the if statement. I forgot colons. I'm always forgetting colons in Python. All right, here we go. And it didn't work. Print. My tabbing is wrong. There we go. White space is important. Okay, so we put $1,000 in checking. That brings it up to $2,000. Let's add $1,000 to our savings account. That works as well. Okay, now we need to define a withdrawal function. Draw function is going to, again, take an amount and an account, same way as we did before. In fact, we can reuse all of this code and just do some simple changing to make it work. Make sure you get your tabbing right there. So what do we want to do? We, again, are going to see is it checkings or is it savings? But instead of adding, we're going to subtract the amount <coughs> from the account. Let's test it and see if it works. So withdraw an amount, so let's withdraw a thousand from an account, checkings, and push run. We're starting off with a thousand dollars on our checking account. We're running it, and it had an error again. Where did it have an error? Uh, right here, me with those colons. I forget those colons. Here we go, let's run, and zero. We took all the money out of checkings, <coughs> And we took a thousand out of savings. We started with 3,500. We went down to 2,500. So, but we don't want to be able to withdraw money from a an account. Like we don't want to go into overdraft. Basically, we don't want to be able to take ten thousand dollars out of an account that only has a thousand dollars in it. So we got to put some checking in here. We're going to do that with some if statements too. So if let's say if uh, the uh, amount that we want to withdraw is less than the total balance of our checking account, well then it's, a go, it's, it's okay to go ahead and do the withdrawal. Else, we got to tell our users of our ATM insufficient funds. And likewise, for savings account, we might say if amount is less than the balance of our savings account, well, then it's okay. We can go ahead and subtract the amount from our savings account. Otherwise, 
same thing. Insufficient funds. I'm just going to copy that so I don't have to type it again. Let's test it. Let's say withdraw. Uh, let's do um, $1,001 from our checking account. That shouldn't work. Insufficient funds because we only have a thousand. Let's try a thousand and one from savings. It should work. It does, but now let's try and do ten thousand dollars and insufficient funds. Okay, so our withdraw function works, our deposit function works. Now, when we first get to our ATM, typically it's going to ask us for our PIN number. So we're going to set up a variable called check PIN, and I'm, I'm going to get it equal to the number zero. Okay, but instead of doing it with an if statement, we're gonna do it with a while loop. So we're gonna say, uh, because if they enter the wrong pin, we wanna be able to ask them again. So we're gonna say, as long as check pin doesn't equal the pin number, oops, what do I, doesn't equal the pin number, we wanna get them to input it. So we'll say check pin, and then we'll say it's an integer, input it from the user, and we'll say please enter pin. So as long as they're entering the wrong pin, it'll ask them for their pin number. And then we'll say welcome. So let's give this a run, see if it works. Uh, check pin equals run that. Pin 1111. One, one, one. Nope. 1234. Yes, welcome. All right, it's working. Next, we want to uh, just ask the user what kind of transaction they want to do. Do they want to do uh, withdraw or deposit? So let's make make a variable, call it transaction, and I'm going to just set it equal to the letter X for now, which is just a placeholder. And I'll say while um, while our transaction doesn't equal the same way we did this for. Um, the last one. So as long as the user isn't putting W and they're not putting D, then we need to ask them to input again. So we'll say transaction get the value of input. Basically the same line is up there. We'll say input uh, and we'll say uh, we want them to input the letter W for withdraw. And the letter C, sorry, the letter uh, D, deposit. All right, so, and it'll keep running this loop until they enter W or D. All right, so what do we do? Let's make sure this works. Run, one, two, three, four, and let's put F, it doesn't run, W, it works. All right, so we're going to say, if transaction uh, is a W, it means the withdrawal, and what do we want to do? We want to print withdrawal. And then we want to say that um, we want to get from the user like which account. So let's say um, we could do the same thing again. We could do well, let's say, let's say, uh, if withdraw, no, let's, sorry, 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 withdraw account equals input, and we'll say S is savings, and D is checking. say if withdraw account has the value of s let's print savings just for now and l if withdraw account has the value of checking print Quotes, checking. Okay, let's test this, make sure it works. 
run. Enter pin, one, two, three, four. Withdraw. And save it. Let's run it again. One, two, three, four. And let's say uh, withdraw. And checking. Okay, it's working. That's great. So now we need to put the code in here for what it actually does. So at this point, we know we want to uh, withdraw from our savings account. So we need to write the code there. Let's say, um, let's have it print out the balance here. So we'll say uh, balance savings. And then that gives the user uh, uh, an understanding of how much they want to print, or sorry, to, uh, to um, withdraw. And here, let's say balance checking. Okay, so we need to know next, what's the amount? So let's say withdraw amount, withdraw amount, that's gonna come from the user, it's gonna have to be an integer, so we're gonna say integer input and how much do you want to withdraw? Question mark, and then Last step is to say withdraw. We're going to say the withdraw amount and the withdraw account. Let's see what happens. Run. Enter our pin, one, two, three, four. Let's withdraw from our savings account. And let's withdraw. Oh, we can see we have 3,500. Let's draw one, draw 1,000. And we can see our account has gone down to 2,500. It worked. Let's run it one more time. One, two, three, four. Withdraw. Checking. And we can see our checking account has 1,000. Let's do uh, 900. And it went down to 100. It's working. Let's run it one more time. One, two, three, four. Let's say withdraw, let's say checkings, and we have $1,000. Let's try and take out 10,000, and it says insufficient funds. Okay, here's what we haven't done. We've checked for withdraw. We need to say if transaction is D. That means we wanna do a deposit, and so we would then write the code for a deposit. Let's run our code. One, two, three, four. D for deposit. And it says deposit. And we just need the code to handle depositing money into whichever account. That'll be very similar to this.